What's up everybody? My name is Cherry and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited about this video because I am cooking. I love to cook. I love to cook for my family. It brings me comfort. It brings me joy. I mean food brings everybody joy. So yeah, um, and I'm so excited to be cooking something that is a St. Louis favorite. I feel like almost everybody likes it. I don't know anybody who doesn't like it. And we are making uh, fried rice and a St. Paul. So if you're interested or wondering what even that a St. Paul is, or you want to see how St. Louis does their fried rice, definitely keep watching. Okay. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, please don't forget. And then if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. But um, yeah, this is my first cooking video and I definitely want it to be something dedicated to St. Louis. So St. Louis fried rice is different from anywhere else. Okay, I've been to a few different states and their Chinese carryout is not good, no offense. So I feel like their Chinese carryout fried rice reminds me of like Panda Express, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like the way we do it is so different. So what is a St. Paul? A St. Paul is basically a deep fried omelet. That's the best way I can describe it to you. Basically what you, all the fixings that you would put in the omelet, you will basically do that and then dip it in oil and fry it. So today we are gonna be making a vegetable St. Paul. Um, the reason why I'm making a vegetable St. Paul because I am a pescatarian slash vegetarian so those is what I gravitate towards and I was thinking to myself maybe I can make a shrimp one but I just want to show you like the basics of it. A vegetable one is a little bit easier than me making a shrimp one so we're going to go with vegetable today but you can add whatever ingredients that you want to. If you want to do chicken you can. If you want to just do it plain with no meat no vegetable you totally can do it that way or if you wanted to add shrimp to it you can totally do that. There are so many different options that you have. So yeah. All right, let's let me show you all the ingredients. Let's go. Here are all the ingredients that you're going to need for the fried rice and the St. Paul. Uh, green peppers, white onion, or you can do red, any onion you want. Green onions. We got some lettuce here. Obviously, brown or white rice, totally up to you. We have some regular soy sauce, some dark soy sauce, pickles, tomatoes, eggs, Here's my little chopped vegetables right here. And you're also gonna need some oil here. Need some white bread. So this is Texas toast bread. Um, that's what I'm using. Um, anytime you get a St. Paul, they use white bread. Personally, I do not eat white bread if I'm being honest with y'all. So, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use white bread. But knowing me, I will probably use wheat bread. But I know somebody from St. Louis, if they watch it, watch this video and they see me using wheat bread, they will hurt me and I don't want to be harmed. Also, one more thing you're going to need is Miracle Whip. Now, here's the thing. You can probably argue in the comments all day long whether to use Miracle Whip or mayonnaise. I, anytime I get a St. Paul, it tastes sweeter. Miracle Whip is sweeter. It always tastes like they're using Miracle Whip. So, if y'all want to argue with me in the comments, go ahead, go down there, I'm ready. So, Miracle Whip it is today. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using this big little Womp here. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I got it from Ikea for like $10. So I think you, I mean, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Also, I want to mention all of, about my ingredients. Most of the ingredients that I'm using come pre-chopped. I bought it from the grocery store, already chopped up. Don't nobody want to sit up here and chop all these vegetables like that. If you want to do that, if that be my guess. But normally when I'm cooking for a bunch of us, like everybody in the house, I don't always have time to chop up the vegetables. I even have a veggie chopper where sometimes I'll pre-chop everything, put it in the refrigerator so then when I'm ready to cook, it's already ready to go. So, you know, if you don't feel like chopping all the vegetables, most grocery stores carry pre-chopped vegetables. The first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some oil and um, we're gonna start heating this bad boy up. The first thing that we're gonna make is the St. Paul. Um, I'm gonna pour some oil in here. Oh, turn on the stove too. Let's turn this guy on. I guess we can do that too. Boom. All right, it's on. I'm gonna put it on about medium high. And then I'm gonna pour some oil in here. While this is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and start 
whipping up our eggs in a large bowl. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and start mixing all of my ingredients together. I'm gonna crack about two eggs into the bowl and I'm gonna whisk those up real quick before I add my other ingredients. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables. And like I said, you don't have to do veggies. You can definitely do chicken or shrimp or whatever meat you wanna do. And then I'm gonna add some onions to this mixture and some green peppers. And we're gonna give that a nice little stir. Now this is a little too thick. So as you're gonna see here, I'm gonna add one more egg to the mixture because you kinda of want it to be a little loose. And I definitely put too many vegetables in there and that's totally fine. I'm making, now it's, now we're making it for two instead of one. So just be careful how much meat and stuff you're adding in there because you want it to be this nice loose consistency right here. All right, so now we're gonna add some salt, some pepper and some garlic powder. I love me some garlic powder. And then we're gonna mix that bad boy up like so. Now we're gonna use a soup ladle. This is the best way to scoop it in like this because you'll have more control and you don't want it spreading all over the place. You kind of want it to stay in a circle, almost like a patty, I guess. Yeah, like a patty. And you know, just pour it in there really gently. And then you're gonna cook it for about two to three minutes or until it turns golden brown. And then you're gonna flip it over. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hard to flip over. This is how you want it to look nice, gold and brown and crispy like so. Yeah, that's that's how you want it to look. And now we're gonna let that cook for about two minutes on that side and then that's gonna be ready to take out here. Now while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and dress our, um, I guess bread, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna add some mayo and some lettuce some pickles and some tomatoes. If I'm being honest, I don't like tomatoes, but for the sake of this sandwich, I actually do eat the tomatoes on there because it's good, so. Oh, and the kind of pickles that I use too is them Firestone pickles, the garlic ones, fire. All right, once that's done, we're gonna take that out and let some of that oil drain off of there. So I'm gonna set mine on a wire rack because I don't want all of that oil on there. Now, if you want yours to be extra, extra greasy, which they actually do that here, you can just take it straight and put it on the bun, but I don't like all that extra grease, so I'm just gonna let it kind of soak out of there. All right, and then we're gonna add that bad boy to the plate, and that is ready to go. Yes, that looks good. So now that this is done, we can go ahead and move on to cooking our fried rice. In that same pan that we just used, we're going to go ahead and pour some oil in there. And then you wanna take about two beet eggs and we're gonna actually pour it inside of this grease. Yes, I know we're deep frying stuff again. And once you pour that in there, you wanna add your onions and your peppers. And then we're gonna go ahead and start mixing that guy around and mixing it up really, really well. Yeah, I know we're deep frying the egg again. I know what you're thinking. This is so unhealthy, but it's so good. I don't eat it that often, but when I do, it's good. All right, so yeah, stir that up, mix it up real good, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Now you wanna go ahead and add your rice. My rice is about two days old. I made it in a rice cooker. I'm gonna add some more garlic powder because I love me some garlic powder. We're gonna add our dark soy sauce and we're gonna add some regular soy sauce. Now the dark soy sauce is what makes this. This is what makes it that rich brown color that St. Louis people love so much. So um, dark soy sauce, I know you can normally get it from like a more, um, more um, Asian style stores. I have never found this as like a regular grocery store. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some green onions to this guy. Now, if you feel like this is way too many onions, that's totally fine. Skip the white onions if you want to, but do not skip on the green onions. This is what really makes this rice. Like, don't skip the green onions, okay? All right, and then now we're gonna plate this bad boy and it is ready to eat. We're done. Okay, this is the finished product. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below if you're feeling the St. Louis style rice or if you're not in the St. Paul. I mean, I'm excited. I'm ready to dig in. And then if you are from St. Louis, you know 
you need the sweet and sour. I don't know. I think majority of us put sweet and sour in the rice. So we save these packets. They be holding on to these like liquid gold. They charge you extra if you want some sweet and sour sauce. So yeah, you pour the sweet and sour sauce in there, fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and I will see y'all in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate y'all so much. See you later. Thank you.